I'll be fine. Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and we're doing something a little different today. As you can see, I'm trying something very ill-advised, which is standing up in front of the camera, talking to it, as if it is my lovely friend. This is a special little video because a very special person on Twitter has done something very, very special for me. And he, I, I asked him, what do you want in return for this very, very special thing you've done? And he said, just an unboxing video. So here is that unboxing video for you and everyone else. Now, what is it that he's done that is so special? Well, let me take you back to those halcyon days of 15, 16 year old me sitting at home having mail ordered my first Space Quest collection box and it arrives with a sandwich. No, it just arrives. It arrives in a much better state than, than this one is and I've shown you this before and this was my first legal copy of Space Quest. Uh, Space Quests 1 through 5 the sixth one had not been released at the time of this one, which was in 1994. Okay, so I was 14 years old. And played through all the games, loved them. Some of them I had already played before, but shh, so, ne next one. So, when Space Quest VI comes out in 1995, of course, I buy the actual big boxy thing. Yes, yes, I do, yes. So I have the, I have these, and these were my two, you know, these were my Space Quest boxes. And then... Uh, I also, at some point, picked up this one that I've shown you recently, the KIXX re-release of Space Quest. Uh, is this thing even in focus? KIXX re-release of Space Quest 1 uh, from 1993, so I, I actually I don't remember how I got this, but anyway, neither does it, because it's a bit broken. And then, while I was a, a, an exchange student in the US in 1997, I also picked up the collector's edition, which includes Space Quest VI, which also is similarly not very well handled, but it does have this interesting little gate flap that, uh, interestingly, is, misspells Vohol a lot. Dumbasses. So anyway, these are the only Space Quest boxes I have. I have two collections, which contains all the games, really, so if it, was, if it was just the games that I wanted, then the games indeed I had twice. I also had, well, the uh, lid just fell off of this one. And I had the uh, Space Quest 6 big boxy thing, which also is coming apart a bit. Uh, oh, anyway, so those were my Space Quest boxes. And we were having this discussion on Twitter about, well, oh, I, I so wanted the, uh, uh, the, the original boxes. A, a lot of people were just sort of lamenting, oh, they're so expensive when you see them on eBay, they're so hard to get, and... And I was also lamenting, well, I, I just looked up, I think it was Space Quest 3 or something, it's going for like... a million bucks or something, I can't remember how much it was. And a friend of mine, and now we're in present day, obviously, a friend of mine, uh, whom I up until this point thought was named Dennis, it is Denis, because he is a French Canadian, or at least he is a, a Canadian and possibly speaks French. It, it, I've known him since 1990, whatever, mid 90s, when I was writing the Space Quest FAQ. He would often come, uh, you know, come up with contributions for that thing. So I've, I've known the dude for quite a while, and he sort of just chimed in and said, "Hey, I've got some some Space Quest boxes. Would you like them?" And I was like, the dude's fucking kidding. I mean, he's not, he's not gonna... First of all, he lives in Canada. He's not gonna send all of his Space Quest boxes to me. And if he is, it's gonna he's, he's gonna charge through the nose, isn't he? Yes, he is. Mm, yes, I've heard of those French Canadians. They're very, very... Mm, no. um, turns out, he was... He didn't want any money for them. So he... Could have put them on eBay, made a hell of a lot of money, but he didn't. He sent them to me instead. So today was the day when I got to go to the post office because no one delivers packages in Denmark anymore. They just leave a little note that said, Hi, I, um, I was not at your front door and you didn't appear to be home anyway and I didn't bother 
bringing the box that you'd ordered all the way to your front door is still in my van so I'm just gonna piss off to uh, you know whatever drop box uh, we, we hang out at all us lazy and bored mail drivers and you can pick up your shit tomorrow so that's what I did today is that tomorrow and I'm off to get my box cue ridiculous montage okay so I'm outside and I'm going to get my big box as soon as I figure out where the hell this is. That away. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this. Ah, success. Civilization. Well, close enough anyway. Address censored for your protection and mine. And uh, let's get this fucker open, shall we? Now, I've got a fancy little two camera setup going, Hello! This is a horrible idea, and I think we all know it. Hello again! So, uh, hopefully, I don't have to like reach out and touch the screen too much. I can just cut to this angle, and you can actually see what I'm doing down here. So, we're gonna. I should stop clapping. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this fucker open. And uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of scissor work here and cut through the nice label. Fuck me! What did I just do? I just broke the scissors. How did I. How. how Fine, fuck it, we'll use the other end. I have achieved something! Ah, the unveiling. Can we see that? Yeah, we can. Hello. The pink, foamy unveiling. Yes. Yes. I'm going to slowly lift up the pink, foamy unveiling. I can't actually see the contents of the boxes yet, but the camera kind of can. What is that? What? The fuck? Why? Jim Walls on the job. And there he fucking is, too. Mr. Walls, sir, what are you doing in my Space Quest box? Reality role playing. Holy shit, these guys mean business. Focus, focus, goddammit, focus. Ah, uh, well, that's sort of focused. Yeah, look at them. Look at them go. Look at poor Marie go. She's not having any of this shit. Okay, so apparently I've got Police Quest 3. Let's have a fucking look at it, shall we? Oh my, look at that. The original five and a quarter inch floppies. Yeah, here they are. All of them. Okay. <laughs> and it's even got... <laughs> Jesus, I just got an old registration card. Wow, a bunch of... Sh I should move the box a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. And is there, is there a fucking manual? Yeah, here, here's the manual. Lytton Police Department. The Procedure and Operations Manual for Lytton Police Academy. There we go. By Jim Walls, no less. Jesus. Oh my fucking god. Let's see. Oh god! Oh! That's Detective Sonny Bonds and Marie. Long suffering fucker Marie that he is, that she is. Yes. Oh well. What a shame that my five and a quarter inch floppy drive no longer exists on this planet. What an absolute terrible shame. Uh, interestingly, where did it actually go? Once upon a time in life, uh, the Square Waves FM podcast uh, used to send out these... Uh, uh, they, they only send out two of them. They send out these zines. This is a bit of a detour, I know. You're all anxious to see the Space Quest boxes. Hang on, I'll get to them. Um, but they send out these... Uh, 
these little zines that are, you know, hand typed and, and photocopied and, uh, I'll show you. There you go. This is kind of bullshit. Uh, which is uh, which, which is great fun, and they actually sent me those, and they they're from Canada as well. And in one of the boxes, they also shipped this neat Police Quest Two five and a quarter floppy with the uh, Sierra logo sort of stenciled on it. So now I've got uh, one disc, disc six of six of Police Quest Two, and I've got all the discs for Police Quest Three in a format that I don't think anyone uses actively these days. All right, on to the main event. Let's see. First of all, we've got Space Quest 1, the Sarian Encounter. Now this is the VGA remake in a slim box and it's got a bit of weight to it. Let's see, so here it is. Space Quest 1, the Sarian Encounter, glossy as shit too. So, let's see what we get in here. Da, 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 da. Ooh, you see those? Uh, little HD biscuits, as my dad used to call them. Yes, Space Quest 1 VGA, 256 color uh, disc. Uh, you got a startup disc, disc 1, disc 2, disc 3, 4. They're all there. And it even has the Space Quest 1 Saren Encounter hint book. Look at that. This has been specially created for the new icon-driven Space Quest 1 Saren Encounter. All clues are written with this new interface in mind. People playing the original Parser-driven Space Quest 1 will have to type their answers to execute all the actions described in this book. My god! The fucking torture! Oh my god! Oh, it's, oh, it's one of those! Now, the Sierra Adventure window! Hey, if you haven't seen this fucking thing, I mean, my god, what you're supposed to do is, you see, you've got the question up here. There's more of that green stuff dripping from the ceiling. I get the feeling that's not good. And then the actual hint is inside this red f uh, bit here. Now you've got this little, this little fucking thing with the red window in it, yes, you see, you can look straight through that, yes. And you have a look through here, and it, how the fuck? Oh, oh, you're not, you're not supposed to hold them up to your face like this. You're supposed to just put them down, so let's do that together, shall we? You're supposed to put them down like this and then read. I don't think you can actually read that. No, it's just fine unless it touches you. Then it could be a definite problem. Be sure to save your game, then only step in the places where the acid doesn't fall. How dumb do these people think we are? Anyway, hey, that, that's, that's, uh, that's Space Quest 1. There's even a fucking receipt in here from Sierra Online Incorporated. And it says, Quantity, Space Quest 1. That was $22 and... Ah, oh my god, there's this, there's this fucking address. I'm gonna have to blur some of that. There's, uh, that's $22. In, in ye olden Canadian dollars, I would assume, since the man is, I think I have mentioned this, French Canadian. Yes, bunch more stuff in here. Here we've got the win $50,000 for college from Sierra. I think this might be void, but Sierra's commitment to kids just got even better. I didn't know they had one. Simply have your child answer the question, how will your future be changed by computers? Well... Like this, I guess. Alright, next up we have Space Quest 2 Vorhold's Revenge. Now this is an oldie but goodie, yes. It's, all, it's, in, it's in another one of those Slim Jims. Uh, oh, look at that, look at that on the background. The two guys from Andromeda are shown exhibiting their Recently acquired assets from their account of the outrageous best-selling cult classic Space Quest 1. We want our loyal fans to know that we've not let we're not letting success go to our heads and they're pictured in front of this huge fucking uh, uh, sports car. So Ah features Incredible 3D graphics Move behind, in front of, and around objects. How can you top that? Now, he did say that this, this version of Space Quest 2 did not come with the original comic book, and that's, of 
of course, perfectly fine. I used to have that. I actually stole that from a store somewhere. Shh, never, never speak of this again. Oh, God, look at the printed labels on this thing. <laughs> Takes up two of these HD biscuits. If you have problems, some configuration may cause hang-ups. No fucking kidding. 3D Adventure game for DOS, and there's a big fucking envelope in here, and it has the Space Quest 3 manual. I was not expecting this! Why does it have the Space Quest 3 manual in it? I'm not complaining! Am I sweating so much I can't open this fucking thing? There it is! It's got a little comic book and everything. Where did this fucking thing come from? Space Quest 3, designed by two guys from Andromeda. Yeah, okay, so he's got the manual to Space Quest 3 tucked away in his Space Quest 2 box. Was not expecting that, but apparently he's got the uh, hint book for Space Quest 3 as well. Boy, howdy, that is some fucking haul, man. Even has the old time adventure window in it. Oh, that warms my fucking heart. Oh, it really does, actually. Holy shit, I was not expecting... And here's, here's the fucking... Oh, here's the manual to Space Quest 2, the original manual. So, so it's, not the, uh, it's not the comic book, but it is, it's just the, you know, the manual, the, back, the backstory, how to play, and all that shit. And he's even got... I, I know you saw this. You saw this. It's the fucking hint book, and it's, it's in its original wrapper. Now, it is open, so it's not... Oh, includes complete walkthrough, list of all objects. Oh dear, oh dear, dear. This has not been unwrapped in ages. I don't think he's even opened this. I think he just cracked the fucking cellophane here or whatever it is and just had a quick look in it and uh, didn't do anything else with it. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got the big one, of course. Yes, yes. Why am I looking over here? I just wanted to see if you can actually see it. It is the big one. It is Space Quest Four. Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers, and it is... Let's see, is it the CD-ROM? No, it's the floppy disk version. Oh my, yes, yes. MS-DOS 3.5, so we're back on the HD biscuits. And, oh, requires 640K hard disk, 286 or better. Get your Christmas list in early, kids. Oh god, this is oh, this is so beautiful, yes. Uh, it's got a nice embossed front. I don't know if you've uh, ever had the fortune of rubbing your hands all over the Space Quest 4 box. Are the two guys from it? No, they're not embossed. Well, that's uh, kind of disappointing. But anyway, yes, yes, let's have a look inside. Let's see here. Ah, oh, there we go. First of all, we've got the discs. Oh my god. The discs. There are five, six, no, there are five discs. Five, I thought it was bigger, actually. That's beautiful. And here's the hint book. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, look, look, character sheets. Uh, concept art from ye olden days of 1990. This game came out in 1991. Look at that ill-conceived logo. That is not how you draw the Space Quest 4 logo, but close, close, I have to give them credit. Look, look, monochrome boys, actually in monochrome, not grayscale, monochrome. And we're here to answer your questions. Well, I have several. Who was that guy with the overdeveloped hairdryer? Why did you let yourself be talked into jumping into some strange shimmering hole? Why are you talking to yourself? Can you answer those questions for me, please? No, didn't think so. Now, I, I have to admit, I do actually own a box copy of Space Quest IV as well. It doesn't have any contents, uh, but I just... Oh, I, gotta, I have to show this off, I'm sorry. Because in this, in this frame, yes, is, uh, is actually the box for uh, Space Quest IV, and uh, the uh, signature down there is by two ingrates from Andromeda whom the camera resolutely refuses to focus on. How about the other one? You got that? Yeah, uh, this was gifted to me by Ken Allen, who, yes, as you probably know at this point, composed the music for the game. He gave it to me for uh, birthday, sent it all the way. Ooh, sticky too. Never going to unpack this. It's going to stay in its frame forever. And uh, so, so all the actual contents of the box, I've never seen those before. 
But this man, this is so fucking cool. Look at that, my very own Space Quest 4 box. All right, moving on, because I see something weird in here. We have not one, but two boxes of Space Quest 5. I have questions, and, and they're, they're a different format as well. Look at that. Look at that. that this, this one is the taller, slim, casey thing, and the other one is not. It's the standard big boxy thing. So let's crack them open and see what's the diff. An envelope, which contains a photocopied, it would seem, photocopied what in the hell is this? A photocopy predictions horoscopes by Ger Draxon. Okay. Supreme overlord of the Artoran Empire, conqueror of Pleiades, and noted psychic astrologer. Oh, yeah, you learn something new every day, don't you? The discs! Game disc 1, game disc 2, game disc 3, game disc 4, and Lee, game disc 5. So, all the discs are in here. That's interesting. Danny, you are full of surprises. I don't know why I put on my Italian voice, because you are French. French Canadian. Yes. I'm just going to put you away and see what's up with your uh, big brother here. Because he's got the instructions on how to load the game written on the top of the box. I like that. <laughs> and inside, he's got more instructions, in case you forgot them. And inside, this thing is kind of hefty. It's got a hefty feel to it. Dear me, deary, deary me. We've got disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, disc five, yes. So I've got a backup of Space Quest V if ever I need one. Um, we've got the hint book. I gave my Space Quest V hint book away to Josh Henry after using it in my Space Quest V playthrough. Uh, because he collects uh, Space Quest Sierra boxes and he was missing the Space Quest 5 hit book. He had hit books for all the other games. So I sent him the, you know, my Space Quest 5 hit book. So now I have one again. You're not getting this one, Josh. <laughs> Put the hit book to the side. It's got more of this stuff. I love it when people keep all the weird shit that came in game boxes. I mean, uh, oh god, no. Oh god, no! The Space Quest Companion, 2nd edition, uh, official Sierra authorized version. Now, if you don't know, these, uh, the Space Quest Companion is a book full of bullshit written by a very disturbed individual. Long story short, it's weird. It's uh, apparently authorized, but very, very weird. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Uh, makes all sorts of weird claims like uh, Korg and Vohal are brothers and uh, you know all sorts of stuff. It just makes shit up. Basically, it's a novelization of the first five Space Quest games. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot in here. Most of it is just, you know, junk. It's just the sort of junk you got with games. Just like a bunch of reference cards, uh, Prodigy and uh, all this bullshit. And it has, and if you've, if you've played... Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, the uh, camera, you know, if, if I record for more than 30 minutes, the camera stops. So, thank you EU, by the way. I can't just keep an SLR camera running. There's a law against that, because that suddenly turns it into a video camera, and then there's all these tax things you have to, you know, I don't fucking know. If you remember playing Space Quest V, uh, the Sprint logo would sometimes show up, and this is uh, your advertisement for, you know, switching to Sprint to make your long-distance calls, back when you had landlines and shit. Ah, uh, yes. Space Quest, product placements. There's, I told you something's off with fucking Space Quest V. Bunch of shit. Hot new multimedia. King's Quest 5, 6. Eco Quest. Hot multimedia action. That's hot dolphin on dolphin action. Eco Quest. Holy shit. Ah, uh, Freddy Farkas, Inca. Does anyone know what the fuck Inca was? I know it's a multimedia game by Cocktail Vision. What the fuck was that thing? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Ah, so, two Space Quest 5 boxes. Holy shit. Lucky fucking me. I had no idea, but I love it. And lastly, in the 
box is, oh my god, this thing is huge. Sorry, that's just the big box going on the ground. What in the fuck is, have a look at this shit. Here's my original uh, European box, and here's this fucking thing. Look at this gigantic fucking thing. That's apparently the North American version of Space Quest 6. It is giant fucking gigantic. Let's have a look, see what's inside. Ah, yes, the manual. The manual that lost, that I lost actually. He, no, he has not solved the uh, homing beacon puzzle in this manual. It is in fact a pristine Space Quest 6 manual. My manual had uh, all these, you know, circles around the uh, actual solution. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I promise I will find it one day. Probably battered and full of mold and shit, but anyway, I've missed this. It's a good manual. Having trouble getting started? Yes. Having trouble finding your Space Quest 6 CD? Are you fucking kidding me? No! Oh, golly gee. We've got Space Quest 6 on a CD. God, that thing is in tatters. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, you can see my camera. Cool. Hello, Mr. Camera. Uh, yeah, that thing is... Uh, <laughs> it's been... It's, this thing has seen some shit. But you can't complain. I mean, shit, that is the North American uh, Space Quest 6. Ah, uh, let's see, for reference, do I actually... Ah, here we are. Here, that's the uh, European one. European, American, and, uh, well, the CD is kind of missing, sorry. In the European version, they stuck the game manual inside the jewel case. So that's a bit cheap, don't you think? However, in the American one, yes, they also stuck the manual in the jewel case. And we've also got a... An ad for Imagination Network. Sierra's sort of, uh, let's say, MMORPG before that was even a thing. Sort of a chat network where you could walk around and talk to weird friends who also wanted to talk. Well, there you fucking have them. We've got Space Quest 1, Space Quest 2, Space Quest 4. Two different Space Quest 5s and a gigantic box of Space Quest 6. Holy bejesus. And on top of it all, we've got fucking Police Quest 3. <laughs> I have no words. Uh, but thank you so much, Denis Lemire. That did not come out well. Dennis Lemire is not your name, but it is Denis Lemire. And it's supposed to be pronounced in French, and I thought I could do it, but I clearly can't. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Wrong game. Um, which one? This one. Because it doesn't get enough love, Mr. Cobbett. Thank you so much, Mr. Lemire, for this wonderful gift. I cannot thank you enough. It's amazing. Your generosity is amazing. I'm going to go take a very long shower because I think I may have pissed myself. I'm sorry for this being such a self-indulgent kind of uh, video, but I've never seen the inside of these boxes, certainly not this one, uh, uh, or any of the others, uh, so it's all brand new territory to me, and I thought maybe you would also enjoy taking a peek inside of the uh, Space Quest game boxes. So that's what this video is. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and do whatever you kids do. Do leave me a comment because I do love the comments. Do you have any of these boxes sitting at home on your shelf? And if so, if it is this one, then why? Why God? Why? And I'll see you around the chrome stream.